I think, for example, that you can use this metric to watch a show like Game of Thrones and say, you know, I really think that this portrayal, for example, of, you know, Daenerys' descent into madness, or, you know, I really like Tyrion, one of my favorite characters. I think that the description of his character arc is perfect. It is bloody, it is gory, but it, just, it shows the cost of the blood and gore, and it shows the, the weight that it has in his life and the meaning, the human meaning, that every violent interaction in that show has human meaning, at least at its best, right? And so, so for me, you know, I recognize that individual people may, may have like particular temptations that they want to stay away from and so forth. And I've met people who are like, yeah, I think Game of Thrones is great, but I personally like feel like it awakens something ugly in me. Like I'm not talking about those specific cases. I'm talking about in general, right? Uh, this is why Game of Thrones, although extremely violent, is not evil or bad art because it combines that that education that teaching or showing that revealing fe- function with the pleasure and the excitement um, i think that's less true of the sex right so the the sex the reason that the sex kind of comes across as gratuitous is that it's not actually there serving any ar- depictive or artistic function and that, that's why it feels a little pornographic right the, especially in the early seasons um there's there's this nudity going on kind of like as part of the exposition just in the background and it's like yeah this is just the, the pure pleasure of representation of seeing beautiful things and attractive things divorced from any truth or depiction about what human life is like and so forth. <laughs>